Yes, and people, Irwin, are hurting. They need help, okay? They need a God who can not only forgive their past, but give them help right in the present. And then with the COVID that's going around the world, because we're talking to 200 countries, there are some people that have got a new strain that's very dangerous, that in three days they can get it and die. And they want to know, can I believe in a God that will promise me he'll forgive my sins and he will take me to heaven? He can do that. Now, you've got some great illustrations about what God, the Lord Jesus Christ, can do for people that are hurting, that need forgiveness, but they don't know where to find it. I want to answer that question directly. I want to thank the many of you who have joined us. And now we come to perhaps what is the most important part of the discussion I've been having with John, coming to Jesus. Let me tell you that in Amsterdam there is a museum, and in the museum there is a painting by Rembrandt. It's called Night Watch. Many years ago I actually saw this painting, and it is indeed remarkable. But in about 1971, a deranged man ran up with a knife and began to cut it. Of course, the guards immediately stopped him, but the painting was damaged. The folks at the, at the museum weren't exactly sure what to do with the painting. They knew it needed to be fixed, but nobody was sure that they would be able to fix it properly. So they just put it in a warehouse, and there it was. But there were some French artists, some French painters who said, we can fix that picture. So according to the story that I read, it was actually taken to France, and there the artists and the painters fixed the picture. You know, as I was thinking about that painting, I was reminded of the fact that there are many people in the world who are damaged. You may be damaged because of what people have done to you. And by the way, you yourself may have done some things to damage others. We live in a very broken world and people don't know where to turn. But you know, there is someone who can bring about a fixing in your life, if I can put it that way. There is someone who is able to repair you, to give you hope. All throughout this world, you'll still find many different tribulations, many difficulties, but at last, you will have found someone who loves you who died for you, who was raised again, namely Jesus, and no other religious leader has ever done that, and he is able to save you from your sins. You know, when you come to Jesus Christ, the good news is that you will be received. The Bible says, as many as received him to those he gave the authority to become the children of God, even to those who believe on his name. Now, I want to say a word to those of you who have doubts. Let me be very clear. It's fine to have doubts. If you're an honest doubter, you come to God with your doubts. Now, if you're a dishonest doubter and you're not really interested in the truth and all that you want to do is find out reasons why you shouldn't believe, then perhaps at this point, you are in a place in your spiritual journey where I cannot guide you. But honest doubt, God always receives it. You know, there's a story in the New Testament that John the Baptist was in prison, and because he was in prison, he began to doubt whether Jesus was the Messiah. So he sent a delegation and said, are you the one that should come or should we look for somebody else? And Jesus said, here are all the miracles I'm doing. Go tell John this. And then Jesus said this, among those born of women, there is none greater than John the Baptist. Think about this. Jesus said that at a time when John was sitting in prison, doubting. Come to Jesus with your doubts. Ask him to repair you. Ask him to forgive you. 
to receive you, to welcome you, that you might become one of his children and you will be one of his children forever. You can do that. God has led you to this moment. I urge you to believe on the only one who's able to make great promises and keep them.